decisions. Decisions are hard work. Just saw a thing about a garage sale, and apparently they're doing early viewings because it's Friday, not the weekend yet, and there's a grinder there with a linishing attachment that I need, I need. Um, and since it's in an area which is very close to where I found some really good gold, I thought I'd go out and do some of that as well. But this is a parcel pickup for another 30 kilo box from Japan, and it's a really cool one. Ah! So in order to avoid all that decision making, which is hard work, like I said, I'm going to do all of it. Uh, so I made it to the garage sale. Uh, there was a lot of really cool stuff there, although I did miss out on some really cool stuff, like the anvils were already gone. Just damn. Um, yeah, but then, you know, them's the breaks. Got, like I said, got some really cool stuff, and I didn't pay that much for it. It was only uh, <coughs> um, for everything that I got, uh, and I'll show you pictures of that in a sec. Some really cool stuff for what I'm going to be doing on this channel, and my other channels as well, like um, my, my tools channel. So right now, I'm off to see if I can get a target, although the sun's come out. <laughs> it's kind of hot. So I might... <laughs> I might pike, because today's supposed to be the hottest day this week. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. What are the chances that this is a decent target? <coughs> Sounds good. This is all old alluvium material. It's been thoroughly worked over by the old timers, but there's a few bits they haven't touched for some reason. Like this stuff that's still hard packed. And it looks like we've got a little burrow here. I'm not sure if this is a subsidence hole from where they've tunneled underneath and then a the bit's collapsed, which means it's interesting for me standing here. I don't think it's an animal because this rock is pretty hard, but just need to clarify. When I say hard packed, what I really mean is it's hard rock. That isn't compacted gravels and sands and so on. No, it's conglomerate. It's chemically changed, it's solid rock. It might look like river gravels, in fact it is river gravels, but it's river gravels that have turned back into a solid rock. It's incredibly hard stuff. Here is the target. Now at this stage, I don't know whether it's in the floor or it's in the roof. If it's in the floor, it's unlikely. It's probably a piece of aluminium that's been washed in there. If it's on the roof though, that's gonna be even that's gonna be even more interesting to dig out. Well I found a target and I've pulled it out and it's a nail. And that opens up some very interesting possibilities. Especially because there's a target there, target there, another target there, oh a loud target there. Very interesting. <laughs> Remember what I was saying before about the old timers and subsidence? A lot of these alluvial areas, uh, this is old, 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 ancient riverbed. And like any riverbed, the gold tends to be on the bottom. The old timers knew this. And so some of these old conglomerate alluvial beds, they've mined out everything. But in other places, they've dug underneath it and they've undermined everything. So it's entirely possible that this surface that I'm standing on is hollow underneath. In fact, it's not just possible, it's actually highly likely. And so all those targets that I'm getting down that hole, they could be iron targets that have been left behind by the supports that are holding up the caverns that are underneath here. So it's really, I'm wondering whether I should um, investigate this just to be sure or whether I should not bother because <laughs> I could be standing on something that's about to collapse. And uh, I think considering it, the heat and the temperature, I'm going to say uh, nah. I'm going to leave that until I've got, you know, a posse to support me or something because I'm um, I don't think it'd be that dangerous, but it's not something I want to do while I'm here by myself, because if something did happen, I'd be pretty stuck. Now, is that gold? Just... there. Pfft. 
I don't know. Damn it. It's not. But that is, that is, it's got bone wall gold! <laughs> With my own two eyes, none of this detector rubbish. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm trying to find the wet patch. Well, I was just casting my eyes over this big boulder and the detector. And I was getting, well, nothing, really, is what I gotta say. The houses I can see over there about 50 meters away. I think there's more houses over there. There's a power line behind me. So with the SDC, there's a lot of places where electrical interference was coming from and I was getting a lot of signals, but I couldn't get them to repeat. Um, couldn't get them to be consistent. So I just put, the, um, put it down and this boulder that I was going over, someone else had been hacking at it uh, with a, yeah, you know, with a hammer. So whether they were just hacking out with a hammer or they had a detector over it and they found some targets. And that's why I was looking at the areas where they'd been working and that's when I found this little little piece hiding in there. Now, problem is, I don't have any of my rock chisels with me, which is dumb. Uh, but I do have something that I was in the process of making up and that's this. It's an old wood splitter and I've ground it to be a, uh, to be, to better cut with masonry. Now this is not a masonry tool, so these teeth are gonna blunt relatively quickly, but this, you know, this was, I've just had lying around for ages. So all I gotta do is re-grind it every now and then I'll be able to re those tooth, teeth. Uh, so hopefully this and the hammer that Blair gave me, one of my subscribers who I caught up with, with Chris and Pioneer Paulie the other weekend, I think between the two of these, we should be able to get this little beauty out. <sighs> The other bloody thing is I don't have any of my drop mats down either. I took them out of the car, so I'm going to put this down. But let's hope I don't lose this little thing. And where is it? Oh, there it is. So it's between this piece of quartz and this piece of quartz. Let's see how we go. Of course, anything I break off this, I want to take with me so I can... Um, crush it for, for fine gold because if there's little chunky bits here they, they should be fine gold and all this stuff as well that's working pretty well Crap. Oh crap, crap, crap. I should have kept a better eye on it. All right, so you can all stop laughing. It's not funny. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit more of a look for it. And then I might take some of the, uh, the bits of this rock home and do a fine crush and see how much gold I get out of it. Damn, 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 damn! <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Uh, I didn't do the fine crush because I don't have a decent dolly pot and the apparatus that I've been using to do it, which is kind of, it, it, it doesn't, it's dodgy. It works, but it's a pain in the ass. So I haven't done that, so I haven't done any fine gold crush to see. So I've got no gold to show you. Now, on that note, I'm going to be showing more gold on this channel. Uh, it's come to my attention that most people uh, want to see the gold. <laughs> they don't care about some of the education so much. They don't care about all the other stuff. They, they want to see the gold more than anything. And the other stuff might be cool, but it's got to be shown with the gold. So, I'm going to be showing more gold. Uh, I haven't been doing many prospecting videos because I've been um, caught up with other things on my other channel on um, Chestnut on oh, Chestnut Nags Tools from Japan. Been building a workshop, uh, and and I've got that that box that I mentioned at the start of this video. Go and open that up, and some really cool stuff there. But yeah, there's going to be more gold, and so here is some gold that I got just the other day from flood gravel. 
yeah, and there's a video coming out on that you know, at some point. No promises on when. I'll get to, I'll get to it when I get to it. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, thanks all you guys who have subscribed and continue to watch my my videos and are patient with me. And for those of you who aren't so patient, well, I guess you're not my audience, which is sad. But anyway, catch you guys later. Bye bye.